Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to part, what, 12 of the Ocarina of Time 3 Heart playthrough, or run, whatever you want to call it. Um, last time we started out by finishing up the Fire Temple, beating Volvagia, getting the expanded magic power, and getting to the, sha not the Shadow, the Forest Temple. Um, if you were wondering why we did the, the Fire Temple first, it's because I think the Fire Temple's easier. I feel like that's the dungeon that, in the way the game was designed, it should have been next. But, you know, I'm not the designer, so I have no say in the matter. I like doing the Fire Temple first, versus the Forest Temple. Because the Forest Temple's, it's not a bad dungeon by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, um, just not as good, I think. I mean, I'm sure it's just me. Well, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people think that, because, I mean, you gotta figure it's a 50-50 shot. But, I mean, yeah. So we always do that first, and then when we pull up the inventory at some point in this video, which we know we will, you'll see that I have the uh, the Lens of Truth already, which probably raises another question. Why do we have the Lens of Truth already? Because we glitched into the well way earlier than we needed to. Way, way earlier than we needed to. Right when you get in the Kakariko Village, we got the bottles, and then we went into the well, because it's it's a really short part of the game and like the dungeon itself isn't really a dungeon it took like five minutes maybe I don't think it was that long because you just have to run in it took longer to activate the glitch to be honest but that would balance out with the time it takes to get the song of storms so it, it all balanced out I just like doing it in that order that way we don't have to turn into young link right after we get to the uh, the nocturne of shadows because that's always really lame now if you want to know a trick to avoiding these guys if you stop moving when they turn purple, they can't see you. Their their eyesight is based on movement, not on um, not on uh, visuals. There we go. So if you don't move, you're fine. And that was something that took me a long time to realize. But yeah, in this part, the goal is to get the map, the compass, the bow, and anything after that's just gravy just gravy. Now if you were wondering why I'm not doing live commentary, well the answer to that would be the fact that when I was recording the audio, the audio of uh, the game was too loud. I didn't know that I could adjust it yet. So that audio took over and it was really sad, made me sad, I was sad, get it, I was sad. That's that's the message to take away here. I hopefully fixed it. I can't be certain yet. I haven't rewatched parts uh, 15 through 18 yet, which are w which were what I recorded when I was fixing it, or trying to fix it at least. So hopefully it'll be fixed. If not, sorry. I mean, I guess it's not really anything that hurts you guys. I think it kind of does hurt the enjoyment of the video because I feel like I get irritated now because it's like you know what? I already recorded 20 minutes of gameplay. I talked over it. And all of that's gone. If I said anything like clever or anything, it's just gone. And really, the only way to know would be to watch the 20-minute video myself after recording it to then record over it again, then watch it again, make sure the audio is all good, to then upload it, which would take like four hours in that section. It's just not worth it. But it irritates me, like, so bad. You guys do not realize... Because it's, it's, it's basically me wasting my time redoing stuff. And realistically, I think the audio comes out better when I'm doing it live. But that's just my thought. Who knows? Maybe if you guys have an opinion, comment in the comment section. Because I'd love to get some comments. I'll respond to you if you want. But it doesn't necessarily mean I'll agree with your opinion. Just saying. I mean, I might. Who knows? But yeah, the Forest Temple was one of the dungeons I hated as a kid. It was this and the Shadow Temple. Because they kind of have like a spooky vibe. Now, okay. This is one of the, uh... Well, one of the Stalfos fights. The other Stalfos fight was the point where I thought for sure that the Three Heart Run would end. That we would die. Now, okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. It's quite simple, actually. What I do when I fight the Stalfos, because if you don't kill them around the same time, they regenerate. So what you need to do is you need to target on one of them, hit them like two times, and then go over to the other one, 
and hit him like two times. That way, they'll both have about the same amount of health. You should be able to get an attack, in, well, two attacks in, in time to kill the other one. I think it took, what, like five hits to kill him? Five or seven. So this strategy works really well, especially in the fights where they come back. That being said, though, it's still a horrifying fight because in a three-heart run, they can basically kill you in one hit. And it's... I mean, it, the regular sword swipe they do, they can't kill you with that. But see, look, there's a hole up there. That's the room with the, the mini-boss fight that kills me. I mean, it doesn't... I don't think it does. I, I could be wrong, but... Yeah, that's the one that always scared me as a kid because you could fall down into the hole and then any damage you had done would be wasted. You'd fall, you'd have to climb back up. I'm not big on uh, backtracking, if you guys haven't realized that already. But yeah, we're going to start our, our awful trek up the dungeon. I think we have all the keys we need. And if you noticed, I've, I'm skipping the gold sculptulas. Because unless they're like blatantly in our face, there's no real reason to get them. We have like 11 or 12 right now. I can't remember what the actual number was. But it's more than enough to uh, get the expanded rupee bag, which is the only thing I'd really care about on a three heart run. Because, I mean, not like you need the, the stone of agony or whatever. You don't need the heart piece or the rupees or the whatever they give you. You don't. All you need is the expanded rupee bag. You don't even need the expanded rupee bag. That's just something I'd like to have. But granted, every time we pass through Kakariko Village, I can't convince myself to waste two minutes getting it. So I guess we don't really need it that bad. But, yeah, this dungeon... While the Fire Temple, I think, is more of a, uh, like an action-adventure dungeon, I consider the Forest Temple more of a puzzle dungeon. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, because I'm sure the way I'm wording it's probably really stupid, and you're all probably like, what in the world is he talking about, Mudlup? What have you been smoking? But what I mean is, um, like, this dungeon isn't hard. There's really nowhere you could expect to die, aside from the Stalfos fight and the Phantom Ganon fight. Meanwhile, in the Fire Temple, there are a lot of areas where you could theoretically die. I mean, the mini-bosses are a lot easier, but... This dungeon has more of a puzzle feel to it. You know, you're pushing blocks, you're pushing more blocks, you're uh, shooting paintings. It, it's more of a puzzle dungeon, if that makes sense. I hope it, I hope it does. It, maybe one of you guys can explain it better in the comments section. Who knows? But yeah, that's the path you fall down to if you want to hit the ground again. We're just going to come this way to push this block. That way we don't have to backtrack. Because as I mentioned, I hate backtracking. I hate it. Which is basically what I'm doing when I re-record audio for these videos. I'm backtracking. But it's like they have these huge arrows on the floor telling you where to push them. It's like, how could you how could you not figure this dungeon out? I mean, really. And I feel like this dungeon's comparatively... Well, the Fire Temple's easy too, but the Forest Temple isn't exactly hard. But again, it's not hard because it's a puzzle dungeon. I can't get over that, can I? I wish I could explain it better, and you'd all be like, Oh, that's what Mudlop meant. He's so smart. He's so smart. He's so handsome. We all want to be with him. But, you know, the vast majority of my subscribers are guys. So, sorry, guys. But, yeah, this dungeon, not that bad. But I guess I'm tired of talking about it, because it's boring. I guess I'll talk about things that happen on screen if anything interesting happens. But, for the most part, um... Maybe I'll tell you guys what's going on on the channel. Um, this week was a really sloppy week for me. I, I know it was. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Realistically, what happened was I went to work, I came home, and I did not feel like sitting down and doing YouTube videos. You know, I, I just, I have days like that. I've been trying to fix it. Like, I mean, I uploaded two videos. Well, it'll be Wednesday I uploaded two. I believe I uploaded two on Thursday. No, I won't be uploading two on Thursday. I will be. I will, I'll upload two on Thursday, because I'm recording this on Thursday. So I'll record two today, and then one will go up tomorrow, and then this will go up Saturday. So it'll kind of be fixed, but, you know, if you're an active subscriber, it gets annoying. I know personally, I don't like when my favorite YouTubers upload a bunch of videos one day, because it kind of overtakes my, my subscription box. 
and because of that, I never actually know what, what else is going on. All I know is, oh, Tyrone Magnus reacted to like eight videos. Not a jab at him, just a, a fact. I mean, and here's the, the Stalvos fight that I hate. But yeah. So hopefully that'll get better. On, uh, on Wednesday, I uploaded a, a Tuesday tirade video. And then one of the parts of this series. Because we're, we're like, we're not even midway through. We're almost midway through. Next part, well, actually the part after that will be midway through. So next Saturday, we'll be midway through this. The sad thing is, I do think this series will be kind of put on hold, delayed a little bit, when, um, in March, because I'm planning on doing, like, a, a sports month kind of thing, because I want to do baseball previews, because, you know what, I've been following baseball a lot this year, and I'd, I'd really like to actually put that into some sort of use, and I think it'd be pretty cool to try to predict how baseball season goes. But at the same point, WrestleMania is around the same time, and... I'd like to do something special for WrestleMania, whether I have subs or not. It'd be kind of nice to be like, okay, well, here, you guys want to watch it with me? Well, I mean, you wouldn't watch it with me, but because I'm not going to get, like, sued for streaming WrestleMania, but I'll gladly live stream my reactions if people want me to do that and other stuff, maybe a prediction video or something like that. But, yeah. So March, it'll get delayed. There's just no way around it. And I figure by the time we get to the end of it, what I'd want to do, and see that we stomped those Stalfos, we stomped them hard. But what I'd want to do is uh, towards the end, when we only have like three or four parts left, I'd like to start up the next game and have, you know, Ocarina of Time maybe uploaded on Wednesday or Saturday and have the new game starting on the other day. That way we can get through the awful boring part of those games because... Just in general, like, 98% of games suck at the beginning, and that's fine. I mean, it's the way it's got to be. But, um, because of that, it'd be, uh, I'm blanking so hard, guys. I'm sorry. The, um, that would be the way to do it. That way, we could get some of the parts in before we need the, before this series ends. That way... If you aren't interested in the new game, you still have the Ocarina of Time clearing out. Or if you are interested in the new game, but not Ocarina of Time, well, it'll get you the videos a month sooner, basically. Granted, it wouldn't be a month, it'd probably be like a week or two, but it's still the idea. Plus, it'll add a little bit of suspense to this. Do I lose? It'll give me extra time to record the final part still. And hopefully I can figure out how to fix the audio when I'm doing the Ocarina of Time playthrough. That way, when I do whatever game I do next, I can just completely blast it and just breeze through it. Like, maybe, I wish I could just pick a day and record, just record everything, but living at home, that isn't really an option between the dog and the the family and all the noise they make. It, it would be very impossible to, to upload, or well, not upload, but to record everything. But if I could, that'd be fantastic. Sorry, I was seeing if you guys could hear that. It's really cold where I live, and... Well, not really cold. It's probably like 20, 30 degrees, something like that. But the heat keeps kicking on, and the heat's loud and obnoxious and wants everybody to know it's kicked on. But that gets annoying. But I think... I, I don't know how I'm going to decide what game to do next. Because realistically, um, I want to do Final Fantasy X at some point. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It'd be nice to have up on my channel. But at the same point, that would be a lot of parts. But you know what? It'd be worth it because it'd be a game I have fun with. That being said, though... Sorry, my phone vibrated. That being said, though, I've played through the game multiple times. Might not exactly be the best choice of a game to play. Because realistically, it might be more interesting to have me do a blind playthrough. And if we were, then the best choice would be something like Dark Cloud, which I've played a little bit of, the first dungeon or two, but I've never beaten the game. But I don't want to be too in the dark and not be able to beat it, which is why I think Dark Cloud would be the correct choice. That being said, I don't know if anybody would even care. Just saying. Or there was something else. If they put Final Fantasy VIII up on the PSN store, which is what they should do, I'd consider doing that, because I've never actually beaten the game. 
I've gotten to this part where you're in space, and then I lost interest. So that's always an option, but I don't know how appealing of an option that is, or if it's even possible at this point, because it's not even on the PS4 store. So that's something that sucks. There were other games I was considering, too, but I'm blanking on them right now. But yeah, as you can tell by the list, they're all Sony games. Because I'm still pissed at Nintendo for freaking giving me a copyright notice. Which is stupid, but I guess that's the one good thing that comes out of me doing the audio over again. Is that you lose the background audio. So there's no chance they're going to flag it for, oh, you're taking our sound. There's no way. They just can't do it. And what we're doing now in the video, if you haven't been able to tell, is we're going to go back, we're going to get the boss key. And I think there's a key at the bottom that we need to get. That way, we'll be all good to go, I guess, in the next part, to finish up this dungeon. And the bow is great in this dungeon, because it, you know, it shoots them back, it takes the blue fire out, it's, it's a good weapon. The bow is probably one of the, the neater items in the game. Behind, naturally, like the Ocarina of Time, the, the long shot, and the ice arrows, of course. Everybody loves the ice arrows. But yeah, I'm hoping the next game will be something exciting, something people will watch. I'm also debating just not uploading game footage anymore. Like, um, I was sitting there thinking one day, and I was like, realistically, I'm uploading six videos a week is what it boils down to. Two out of the six are gameplay videos, and realistically, they're not really getting watched. And that's probably partially because, you know, Ocarina of Time is an old game. It's probably, like, one of the most played through games on, on YouTube, realistically, I mean. And there's nothing wrong with that, but, uh, you know, you can't expect views on something that everybody's done seen. But even the Pokemon Nuzlocke's didn't go over that well. I mean, I, I just don't know. I figure if I found another series I wanted to do, I could slide that series. Hopefully, it would be like a, like a video series where I'm talking or something. We could slide that in there and just knock it down to five videos a week. And then hopefully that would get me a little more consistent. And two, if I wanted to do a, a gameplay video like this, I could just create another channel and do it on there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to beat this guy super easy. You hit him into the corner. The moment he breaks into three, you do a spin attack. Kills him, all of his cronies, because if not... The cronies will grab you, and then they'll regain full form. Which, the grabbing you thing is a big deal on a 3 hour run, because I don't think it'll kill you, but it'll knock you down bad. And, you know, you don't want to die. That's that's pretty obvious, but feared it had to be said anyway. But, yeah. If you guys have an idea for a game, you know... I mean, if you have an opinion, I guess, on the games I listed... I might, I think what I'm going to do is at some point, like right before this ends, maybe like a month or two before it ends, I'll just put up a list of, of games I'm considering doing, and I'll let you guys vote on it. The problem with that is that you dicks won't subscribe, so how am I supposed to do that when I don't have subscribers? But, you know, hopefully you guys watching this now will subscribe. You'll be like, eh, why not? Mudlup seems like a cool dude. The crazy thing was I was on YouTube the other day. And I found a channel called Mudlup. Somebody else had the same idea I did. And I'm just sitting there looking like, how? Because I'm almost certain I took the name Mudlup way back when. Because realistically, the first one was Mudlup 49. This one's what, Mudlup 50? I know I did a Mudlup 48. I, I want to say I did Mudlup. But I, I guess I really can't be certain. I mean, it, it's just weird. I mean, he uploads, like, Grand Theft Auto videos. I'm like, well, that, geez. That's, like, the trajectory this channel's gonna be going on soon. <laughs> Grant did not like his videos, but... It's just weird. And I'm not suggesting everybody go check out his channel, but... You know, if you want to flag him and call him a thief for stealing my name... Go for that. Because, I mean... No harm in that. Right? Right? Just don't go too hard on him. But yeah, I guess now will be as good a time as any to start wrapping this video up. Because realistically, it's a whole nother minute going. So, I mean... And I think it's just me walking back to where we uh, start the next video. So if you've enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe.
Y'all should know the drill by now. You really should. But yeah, thank you for watching, though. If you stayed for 20 minutes of video, I applaud you. Like, legitimately, I'd clap, but it, it'd be awful on the microphone. But here, yeah, I'll do it anyway. That was me clapping for you guys staying. But anyway, I'm done, so peace out, home skillets.